What is going on people? It is your boy Daddy Mac and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are against Dahir, Daid, Jair, who's bringing a really cool team. We're both running a Porygon. I'm running a Z. He's running a number two. Magnezone is a really cool Pokemon to see, even though it's not going to be a factor in this particular battle. Another Dragapult. Let me just put that in there. Another Dragapult. I haven't seen him in Shao in a while. I haven't seen a Gyarados in a while. And I haven't seen, I've, I don't think I've ever seen a Hatterene, I, I think that's how you say it, in a battle before, at least on my channel. But um, what are you going to start with? What do I want to start with? Probably Cinderace. No, you, you, you're probably going to start Dragapult. Dragapult just ruins my team, man. Porygon Z. I'm going to start. No, no, don't do it. Don't do that. He's going to start Man Shao, isn't he? So because of that, I'm starting slow, bro. If Mian Shao is running fake out U-turn, he's probably gonna start with Mian Shao. Porygon C is gonna be my answer to Gyarados, given that I have the Thunderbolt on that. Um, the, our teams are pretty well balanced, I feel like, at least. Okay, this battle's about to start. And Dair, you look absolutely determined. You look pretty fresh in that fire type uniform. Maybe we're gonna battle in Moto Soak. We don't know that, let's see. It's, this isn't Moto Soak. I don't remember the name of the city. Mian Chao, I knew it. Okay. That's good news because if you fake me out, you're gonna you're gonna take some damage also. And if you're a regenerator focus axe, then Oh, that's your nose. I thought he was going like Okay, but anyways, um we're just gonna scald. We're just gonna scald. That's it. Fake out. You're gonna take Rocky Helmet damage. I'm okay with that. you you took more damage than me, actually. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go scald here. If you U-turn, it's super effective. I understand that, but I'm heavily invested in defense, and I'm also bold nature, so let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. If you guys missed the last Wi-Fi battle, check it out, because it came down to 1-0. I'm not going to make any spoilers, but it came down to 1-0. I might do a spoiler, knowing me, like, later in this video, but you guys, check it out, okay? Check it out. And why are you taking forever, that year? Why are you taking a while? He's probably what he's probably debating whether or not he should U-turn. That's probably what he's doing. It's my guess. Is my guess. I mentioned in my last video that I have like a mosquito bite on my cut or on my tattoo. And it looks kind of weird. I probably should get it checked. It's okay. It's just that my tattoo looks like. It's like I bled ink, if that makes sense. It's kind of weird. It is kind of weird. Oh, from my angle, it's kind of funny because my microphone is like right, it's covering his body up to his neck. So it looks like it's my microphone has a head. <laughs> Probably way off topic, but Porygon 2 comes out. I do not fear this thing. That, that Minshaw probably does have, um, it, it probably does have, what, what's that ability? Regenerator. It probably has regenerate. Burn it, please. No. Okay. I'm gonna slack off here. I'm gonna slack off. We're just gonna we're just gonna be lazy for a little bit. I need a I need all the health I can have on my slow bro. So if I if I slack off here, it's gonna bring me too close to full. And if I switch out, regenerator will bring me out too full. So that's why I'm doing that. Interesting. Try attack. Okay. That does a lot of damage, so we're probably not going to be close to full. Regenerator might help a lot, though. So, that's kind of good news there. Now, because this thing is... Um, I'm probably going to try to knock off his Eviolite. So, I'm going to go into Tango Growth here. I'm Assault Vested, but he's at plus one special attack, which concerns me a little bit. So, we'll see. Let's see. Toxic. Oh, I haven't seen Toxic in a Porygon 2 in a while. That means this is transferred. This was transferred from um, un from another game. Okay. I'm not really concerned. What I am going to do is knock off. That's that's if, if I knock any item off any if any of these Pokemon, then I'm good. I really want to knock this thing off though. I want to knock off the Porygon too because once Eviolite is down, this Pokemon is completely useless. Okay. It's super effective. I do not want to see. We live it, okay, at half. Okay, so now this thing's Eviolite is gone, which makes it even better because this thing is not as bulky as you just saw right there. Okay, we're switching now. If you want to go toxic again, toxic again, feel free to do it. Oh, he just showed me as Ice Beam. I'm not about to go to Marowak, but 
I'm probably gonna go Cinder Race. I outspeed it. I 100% outspeed it. So that's probably the play. If he goes Ice Beam, we're live it. If he goes Recover, that's 100% fine. But we'll see. He's staying in. Ice Beam. Try Attack. That's that's a good play. Not gonna lie, that's a really good play that you did there. Okay, we're gonna. Dynamax? No, we're not Dynamaxing. We're just gonna hit this thing with the Pyro Ball. And if something else wants to come in, like the Dragable, I hope you. Oh, Dragabolt? Dragapult! I hope it gets burned. Hopefully. We'll see. I want to threaten this thing with the Fighting type attack, but it's not worth it to me. It's not worth it. I need to get a little bit closer. I think. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit better for my uh, this thing right here. I'm not speaking through this. Well, you guys can. Oh, you guys probably can't see because I usually cut that out. But Gyarados comes out. Take a burn, Gyarados. Take a burn. Intimidate. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. To be honest, I'm gonna pyro ball here. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Please. Please. No. I've never seen Pyro Ball burn, to be 100% honest with you guys. So I'm not sure what the what the chances of that looks like. I don't think you outspeed me, and if you do, then it's it's okay. It's not okay, but I'm just trying to convince myself that it's okay, to be 100% honest with you guys. I'm going to try to U-turn here. I know it's resisted to U-turn, and I know I'm going to take some life orb damage over that. Probably wasn't the best play. That probably wasn't the best play. I'm kind of concerned because if this Gyarados Dynamaxes and gets a plus one in speed, then I am in really big trouble. I'm in really big trouble if that does happen. I don't think it's a defensive oriented Gyarados given about um, and given to how much damage we did. Why are you taking your time to hear? What, what are you thinking about? All you got to do is just click Dynamax and if you have Airstream, just click that. And if um, you can probably just try to sweep me if you have Dragon Dance also. Just to be 100% honest with you. That's probably what I would do. If I were running Dragon Dance, I would probably click Dragon Dance. Withdrawals. Okay, so now we're U-turning. You send out Dragapult, which I'm 100% okay with. Alright, U-turn. Libero, we turn into a Bug type. We're going to take some uh, Life Orb damage, but at least we get some momentum here. We get some momentum. And next time Cinderace comes out, he's going to Dynamax. Okay. I outspeed the uh, Dragapult, um, but I think we're gonna go into Porygon. No. I'm afraid of the ghost type attack, if I'm being honest with you guys. Uh, oh, we are at full HP. So it's either Porygon or Slowbro. If he goes Dragon Darts, then we're, we're gonna take some damage, unfortunately, with Porygon. So I think I'm going to go slow, bro, and then I'm going to try to get a burn on this thing, if it's physical. I'm just, I, I think the thing that scares me is that we have to scout to see what kind of Dragapult this is, either special or physical. I hope it's physical. Most of them like running Dragon Darts and end up being physical. And if you are running uh, Phantom Force, I'm just going to switch into Porygon. That's the plan. That's the plan. My knuckles are hurting for some reason. Wait, what was that Karate Kid? Okay, I'm gonna go Ice Beam here. What are you gonna do Porygon 2? What if, and I'm just saying, what if we get a freeze? Good play there because your special attack goes up. All right, Ice Beam. Wow, you're so bulky. Okay, um. Okay, what, I'm, I'm gonna call mine. I'm gonna call mine. If you want to toxic me, then I'm going to be a little bit upset, to be honest, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, you toxic me. Um, it's the end of the world. It's the end of the world. I didn't want to be badly poisoned, is the thing. I'm going to call mine. I, part of me was going to switch into Tangrowth, but uh, I convinced myself not to in here. I convinced myself not to. Get it? Not to like the Pokemon. I just thought about that right now. Okay. Call mind again. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I know I'm on a timer. Okay. I'm not about to play this ball game with you. 
But what I am going to try to do is hit you with the skull right after this call mine and try to get a burn. Part of me wants the ice beam, see if I can at least freeze this thing, but I really don't think it's gonna happen. I really want to try it though. We're gonna try it. If you guys are probably gonna yell at me in the comment section, but um, some of you might even say that I'm relying on luck and I might be, but I just want to poison, I, not poison, I want to freeze this thing just so it can stop poisoning me, you know? That's it. Slow bro, if you feel, oh, okay, that works, that works then. Gyarados comes out. This Ice Beam is going to hurt you, my friend. This is a plus two Ice Beam. Intimidate does not phase me. So, Ice Beam, plus two. Maybe we get a freeze on Gyarados instead. No? Okay, that's fine. Um, He has me in Shao in the back, and I really want to keep Slowbro around for it. So, I'm going to take one more turn of Poison after this, and I'm, I'm going to switch out. So, Ice Beam again. I need a haircut. I need a haircut. It's getting kind of long. Okay. Stop thinking about your hair and think about the Wi-Fi battle because this is still a substitute. We can break the sub. I'm 100% sure we can break the sub. Um, I guess I'm just confused. He can't go for one more substitute. And that kind of forces me to stay in if I don't want to get Dragon Dance right in the face. So... Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna stay in with slow bro. Um, unfortunately, it's not what I want to do But it's what I have to do because I don't want this thing to set up a dragon dance in my face <sighs> Stay hydrated guys stay hydrated He's carefully thinking about his turns earthquake. Okay, we resist or we don't resist it But we're probably gonna take it. I thought so and we're probably gonna go down so this is going to be a double knockout because of poison and because of the ice beam. I thought so. And then I'm going to go down to poison. And then it's back to square one, which is a little bit concerning. And I feel, I feel like he's going to go Min Xiao. I just, I don't know why. I just have a really good feeling he's going to go into Min Xiao. And part of me wants to go Tango Grouth. Hmm. Because part of me wants to go Tango Growl, take the fake out, and then switch. Yeah, I think that we're going to do that because... Okay, yep, there's the Mian Shao. If you want to fake me out, feel free to do it. I'm okay with it because um, I'm just going to regenerate her right here. I don't want to go into Porygon Z because Mian Shao outspeeds us. But I think I am going to go into Marowak. We can take an attack from this Tango, uh, from not, not this Tango route, but this Mian Shao with Marowak, even after the fake out. So, all right, fake out. Now, um, what do I want to do? Do I, you know what? I'm just going to go Bone Ring. I got rid of his Gyarados, so I, I'm really free to go for that. I'm really free to go for that, not, not for go to that. I really need to stop talking so fast. I think that's the part that's the, that's the thing that's wrong with me you turn okay that's good I resist it I don't resist it I thought I did and whatever you come into is gonna take a bone ring to the face and it's not going to appreciate it I guarantee you it's not going to appreciate it Magna's own air balloon right Air Balloon Magnezone just ruined the fun for me. Flash Cannon, I resist that. I know that for sure. I don't resist it. But this Fire Punch is not going to be appreciated. So get your Magnezone out of here. And I just hit my hand. Just turn the chair around. Push it in. And don't be smacking things, okay? If he rage quits, uh, I don't think we'll have time for another battle. Unless I record this another day. Dragapult comes in. And he's probably going to ruin the fun for us, to be honest. So I'm going to Bone Ring, and I'm just going to let Marowak go down. I probably should have Fire Punched, or at least... I, I don't even know, to be honest. We don't resist it. So now the good news is that we get Switch Priority over him, because he has to switch into Pokemon right now, and then we bring in something to capitalize on that. And the music goes subtle. This is a really close battle. This is closer than you think. 
This is 100% closer than you think. So, um, Tango Growth. I'm gonna go Tango Growth here. And then I'm gonna knock off whatever wants to come in. No, that's not the play because he has the Porygon in the back. Um, so, what I'm gonna do instead is Giga Drain. I'm gonna get faked out here no matter what, but if, oh, I'm, a, I'm a weak against U-Turn. Okay, so Giga Drain is gonna help me. Giga Drain is gonna help me one way. It's a crit! It's a crit, which does matter a little bit. But it's okay. Oh my goodness gracious. What does he what does he have in the back? Porygon 2. He's not gonna Oh see he actually is going to appreciate this. Defense or attack, I mean? Special attack. Oh my goodness. I hate this thing. I hate this thing. I don't like Porygon 2. I do not like Porygon 2. I feel like I need to switch, but what am I gonna switch into? I kind of need... Do I need Tango Growth? I kind of... I feel like I do. I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm just going to let Tango Growth go down. Um, earthquake? We're going to go Earthquake here. I, part of me was going to click Earthquake, but I decided Giga Drain was a better move for some odd reason. We live it! Okay, we're going to go down to Poison here, but it's not going to appreciate an Earthquake. Okay, maybe it does appreciate... This thing is too bulky! This thing is way bulky and it doesn't even have Eevee Light. Why? I forgot. Do you have Dragapult in the back? I think you do. I think you do. I'm going to go Cinderace here. I really want to Gigantamax now. I feel like we have to Gigantamax. You, you still have Dragapult in the back, don't you? Yes. So what we're going to do here... What do I want to do here? Max, oh, he resists all of my attacks, right? Yeah, he does. We're just gonna Dynamax and just uh, let Cinderace go down. He's staying in. I outspeed him. And he's probably gonna go down after an attack from the Gigantamax Cinderace. Okay. 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 I'm saying okay a lot because I'm kind of nervous. I don't want to take an L. Max Fireball. Kick that ball to his face. That's a beautiful animation. All right, that gets rid of Porygon. We're going to take Life Orb damage, of course. If Dragapult wants to come in and just wreck my stuff, that's okay. That's okay. I don't have to be this Dragapult. I know that for a fact. That's a known fact. I'm just gonna max fireball. I don't got any answers for Dragapult. Dragon Pulse. So it's a special Dragapult. That's good to know. Maybe it's mixed. I don't know. Maybe it's mixed. I don't know. Okay. I don't recall how much damage this thing or how, how much damage this thing is taken, but I really want so what did he go for? Dragon Pulse? I think we can attack it with Porygon Z and still be okay. Um, what else does he have in the back that concerns me? Hatterene is, an, is a Pokemon and me and Chao. So, um, I think we Shadow Ball. I want to say we Shadow Ball here. Yeah, we're going to Shadow Ball. Three minutes until this battle is done. All right, Porygon, please live this. Please live this. It, unless it's Choice Specs, we live it. Okay, thank goodness. Now, Analytic comes into play, and this thing is absolutely going down. Okay, now it's gonna come down to Heracross to finish things off for us. He has the Minshaw in the back, and he has the uh, fairy Pokemon. I forgot its name. I'm gonna go down to a fake out. So it's really gonna come down to Heracross to get the victory. It's gonna come down to Heracross to get the victory. Fake out, it's gonna make me flinch. I can't really do anything about that. And we're going down. Okay, Heracross is next. We really cannot go for the fighting type attack as much as I want to because of the Hatterene in the back. I think Megahorn has to be the play. I have to lock myself into Megahorn. I feel like I absolutely have to. Megahorn, he resists this. Still does a lot of damage. Hopefully you don't high jump kick. Miss it, please. You hit it. Okay. So if I hit this Megahorn again, I'm going to get Moxie boosted. And his Hatterene is probably not going to appreciate a Megahorn when it comes in. 
It still has the opportunity to... Uh, of course I miss. We're still good. But all you have to do is switch out now. Of course I miss. Of course I miss. That's really upsetting. That is really upsetting because if I didn't miss, I have a chance of winning this. I've never missed a Megahorn with this Heracross before. I think it was bound to happen. But... At least we brought this battle close again. Last week's battle ended at 0-1. This battle is about to end at 0-1 also. If you Dynamax, you know, there's nothing... Not much to do. <laughs> do I want to be that person? Time stall and have it become a draw. I'll probably lose because Heracross has less health though, but I'm I'm curious as to what will happen. We're gonna do it. We're just gonna stall this timer. And I hate to be that player, but I'm just interested in seeing what happens. I have a 50 sec uh, 56 second move time. And even then, it, once the timer runs out, um I guess I'm just gonna use this time to kind of recap of what I could have played better. I know the critical hit on the was it this battle or last battle? I think it was this battle the critical hit on the um u-turn yeah it was this battle on the u-turn for the um tango growth that mattered and made a difference in this battle of course the mega horn made a difference in this battle once i missed it and i lost because heracross has lower hp but i didn't want to let heracross go down ah, that was absolutely frustrating um that's the word frustrating because last week I, I just don't know what exactly happened. I'm taking your lead card. I don't know what exactly happened between this week-ish that I haven't played po competitive Pokemon. Of course, you guys saw the video on Friday, but I didn't play Pokemon that same Thursday or Friday or whatever you want to say. But anyways, I don't know. Something just in here didn't click uh, throughout this break. But hopefully on this next team, which is gonna be another galarian starter and since if you guys are keeping up with the channel you guys are gonna know exactly who that's gonna be built around and part of that moveset is going to be inspired by Falinx's moveset uh so shout out to you Falinx but um I just could have played better and, and that's what's a little bit frustrating to me I could have played way better with this team um spoiler alert so make sure you guys cover your ears and don't uncover them until you 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 watch my mouth just stop okay starting right now Last week, I could have played better. It was 1-0, and the fact that we just won, I guess you can say we won three battles because on that very first Wi-Fi battle, or the first Wi-Fi battle showcase, we had three battles, two of which my opponents rage quitted, um, which led me to believe that this team was awesome, but Dragapult just checked my team really hard, and that is what kind of just threw everything out of the window, and I didn't account for the Dragapult, uh, which I will in the future, but, there you guys have it make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed this video comment down below on who the mvp most valuable pokemon was in this battle and also subscribe to my channel for more pokemon sword and shield wi-fi battles i will see you guys next time you guys have yourselves a great day